that, you know, people would, at the end of the day, rather vote for a convicted felon than a woman of color to lead the, yeah. the United States of America. Welcome to the matriarchy. That's what I thought. Excuse me for the attire, but I was lying on the couch, uh, drinking a beer, eating a pizza, oh, slice of pizza anyways. I'm relaxing and I'm taking a look over here, watching CBC as I'm wont to do, as of course my tax dollars are going to this fine organization that I want to defund completely. And lo and behold, I see the matriarchy in full display. This is uh, discussing right after Melanie Jolie's segment, where she said a lot about nothing, about how she's preparing for a Trump presidency. But I see these four wonderful ladies. Nary among them is a 40 years of experience, older white male, as I'd expect to be a, a world-class political analyst. No, I see these lovely young lasses. And um, I watched the entire thing because I'm a masochist. I'm going to take you right to the end. This is Sherelle Evelyn, managing editor of the Hill Times. Hill Times, pretty important rag over here in Ottawa, the comings and goings and the inner workings of the politicos on Parliament Hill, of which we all adore. I've got your, I've got my favorite, you've got your favorite, uh, Marco Mendicino, uh, Line Marco, whatever you want to call him, Marco Polo, uh, Mendacious Marco. Maybe you like um, you know, a little rat face fellow. What was his name now? Um, uh, God, I can't even remember. The guy who used to do the Christmas commercials, right? But anyways, Omar Algebra, that's the guy I'm talking about. Anyhow, you've got Sherelle Evelyn over here, managing editor of the Hill Times. And her takeaway is very fine. Let's listen to it. It's true. Um, you know, this was a, there was important ballot box questions. There are people feeling that they're not being heard. But at the, but we also can't dismiss the idea that, you know, people would, at the end of the day, rather vote for a convicted felon than a woman of color to lead the, yeah. the United States of America. And that... <laughs> I just thought this was... I'm lying there. In Soraya, my wife is next to me, and she's, you know, the kid's falling asleep, she's falling asleep, you know, and I gave her a quick, like, I said, babe, look at this. Are you serious? You know, are you serious? Did I just hear this just now? And that is what the, uh, the anointed class, the elite, are taking away from this Trump victory, this victory at all levels, that at the end of the day, we're all racist, and we'd rather vote for a convicted felon rather than a woman of color. And that is fundamentally the reason why that the Trudeau liberals are going to lose in one year because of this hubris. I put it to you, my fine audience, thank you, my fine listeners, that this is the simple reason, this hubris is why the liberals are going to lose next year. They are totally out of touch with the common person, the average person, the person who pays their wages with their tax dollars. Everything that we talked about is is true. Um, you know, this was, a, there was important ballot box questions. There are people feeling that they're not being heard, but, at the, but we also can't dismiss the idea that, you know, people would, at the end of the day, rather vote for a convicted felon than a woman of color to lead the, yeah. the United States of America. And that is, something that still needs a lot of work to <laughs> overcome and i don't know if um, you know it's oh, going babe. to be something that you know anybody any party is going to figure out